Hi, hello, we are PRM Taiwan. I'm here with Matthias Zivaling from Cross My Face, with Gero Wilmerot from Engol, with Michael Feltes from Wintech, here with Gerard Baum from Arbourg. What machinery did you bring today in uh, Shanghai Plus? Yeah, this year we have a very exciting exhibit. We have an e-Victory, that is a hybrid machine, uh, that means an electric injection unit and a hydraulic clamp unit. And what we will produce on this machine are LSR lenses for LEDs. Mm -hmm. So that's something new, that's a new trend, because the LSR material brings a lot of advantages, like the clarity of the material and a higher resistance to, to chemical and, and UV resistance. Um, so that's a new trend for automotive, but also for other applications where you have LED light sources. The products that we are building are smaller all-electric injection molding machines, um, typically finding their way into uh, opto-electronic uh, industry, packaging, food packaging and medical applications. And then our two-blade servo hydraulic injection molding machine, um, predominantly selling into the automotive market, white goods, home appliances, and larger technical plastic components in the industry. The offerings that we have is we will show our new local agile electric mm -hmm. injection molding machine, the PX Agile. Mm -hmm. We also uh, developed a local line of linear robots, the LRX Agile, that will also be on display, actually sitting on top of the injection molding machines. And then uh, as a third local product that we introduced in the last 12 months, we will mm -hmm. show the uh, ZE Agile. Uh, that is a compounding machine that we designed and engineered locally here in China and that we also produce in our factory in Haiyan for the local market. So we have a big emphasis on having local products mm -hmm. uh, for the local market okay. and that is a highlight on the uh, on the show this year. We have a three, uh, two component LSR machine mm -hmm. here uh, with a turnkey um, solution on which means we are assembling a complete watch. Uh, mm -hmm. We do the stripe, we do the watch, we assemble everything and it's get tested to the out of the machine, number one, number two. Uh, we have an, electri, uh, an electrical entry level machine, mm -hmm. our golden electric as a, a second machine and uh, we are going a separate way as a plastic injection molder. We also have an additive manufacturing solution, our Freeformer, here on the show. What is the future plan and innovation from your company? The future plans here for China is very clear. Going back to uh, the, starting with the Freeformer, for example, we, we like to introduce this uh, product for the medical industry mm -hmm. as, a, as a solution for additive manufactured uh, um, parts for, for human beings, mm -hmm. so that's number one. And we, we, we brought in now a, a, a dealer structure, we are starting with a street dealer structure here for the, for the product uh, with the China Plus. Um, and number two is uh, that we focus on high-end solutions mm -hmm. uh, like these turnkey solutions, for example. Yeah, innovation is the driver of our company. Uh, as a European company, we always have to uh, move forward and, and introduce new technologies. So since a couple of years, uh, we are already um, quite uh, progressed in the uh, Inject 4.0 technology, which is the industry 4.0 adapted to the injection molding industry. So we also show uh, a couple of those here at the China Plus, and we are very proud to be part of the Smart Factory, uh, which is a concurrent event at this mm -hmm. year, China Plus, with uh, Edsail, iPlus, and also VDMA and Euromap as the sponsors of this event. And uh, this is also the key to the circular economy, because when you uh, use, for example, regrind material to a larger extent, when you uh, reduce the, the virgin material, you need to make sure that the processing of this material is mm -hmm. at the same level as you do with virgin material. And our IQ technologies like uh, the IQ weight control and clamp control, they help a lot to keep that very stable, okay. this uh, production. Hardware, we also will show a lot of new digital solutions like uh, the e-store, uh, a new WeChat service platform mm -hmm. that will benefit our customers greatly in the day-to-day -day operation of our equipment. And what brings you today in uh, China Plus? China is a very important market for us. Mm -hmm. uh, since uh, very, very many years, we are regular guests on the China Plus mm -hmm. to represent the local market with our offerings 
and uh, we have a lot of new things that we want to show to our Chinese customer base. The reason why we are here is uh, China is a very important market for us. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a growing market to us and it's getting more and more technical market for us. Actually, I live already since more than 11 years in China okay. uh, because this is a very important market for Engel and it's a very growing market for mm -hmm. Engel. And China Plus is now the, the biggest exhibition actually because it's every year the K-Show is still a little bit bigger, but mm -hmm. uh, it's only every three years. So China Plus is a very important place for us to show our latest technology. Could you explain us more your strategy for penetrating the Chinese market? Yeah, we uh, since decades here in the Chinese market, uh, we set up a factory in Haiyan mm -hmm. um, in the late 2000s. And uh, we're in the process now to build a new factory because we saw the growth in this Chinese market. And our stated uh, strategy is that we want to extend the localization of the product. So that means uh, not just making something locally here that was engineered in Germany. We want to have the combination between uh, the German engineering and the Chinese agility. And that will lead to uh, a quicker product development. And three of the examples you will see physically on our booths. And then we have developed here in the market a couple digital offerings that you can also experience when you visit us in uh, all five. There is a change on this market because uh, we have more high-end solution here mm -hmm. and especially the region over here is a typical 3C market, LSR is a topic so that's the reason why we have an LSR machine on the show as well and uh, that's what we like to cover here. So Asia obviously um, is a large uh, manufacturing hub, not only for the growing population in Asia, mm -hmm. uh, but also for the, for the global requirements uh, on plastic components. So we have been uh, growing significantly with the Chinese uh, market, Vietnam um, and Thailand in the last years. Um, Meitai is an interesting and very fragmented market. So our key regions there are obviously uh, Russia, beside all the, the, the depreciation of the currency. We're selling quite a number of machines in Russia. Turkey is a large uh, population and a large market for us as well, mainly in the automotive and the white goods industry. Mm -hmm. And then finally, South Africa is a huge uh, region for us uh, and there it is automotive and in large boxes, crates for fruit and food uh, transportation. The rest of the world then, the Americas, uh, Brazil, Mexico, predominantly automotive uh, driven. Here we can see that there is um, a very small amount of uh, local and domestic machine manufacturers. Mm -hmm. So most of the injection molding equipment in those regions in the Americas is imported anyway. So we are another importer, but we are an importer of products on a much higher quality and reliability level mm -hmm. than uh, typical cheap uh, machines coming out of Asia. Mm -hmm. Plus our signific uh, significant advantage is that we belong to the Engel group of companies, mm -hmm. so we can tap into the Engel uh, service network. So we can use the same locations to have our spare parts in each country mm -hmm. worldwide. We can use the same service infrastructure worldwide. So that is a huge benefit for our customers. And um, we support them in that way, not only with the machines, but also with the service when once they have the machines installed and start. And uh, how is the demand from China is similar to the other market? It's very important for us that it's similar, yes. It's similar because uh, we have a global world now. Mm -hmm. Look at the automotive industry, so parts uh, from Europe and parts from the US are not differing from what we have here in China. So this is all high end and we are talking about electromobility, which is even stronger here in China than in, in Europe right now. So this is an important market and mm -hmm. makes it uh, very challenging uh, on the technical side. And, uh, and we, we are facing the same situation on the Chinese companies now as well. This was previously driven uh, by the global uh, leading companies uh, from US or from Europe 
And now uh, we have the Chinese company on the same companies on the same level, technology level, and that's the reason why it's the same mm. as we have <laughs> in in Europe or in, in 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 the U.S. since years. So I know the Chinese government are uh, going toward uh, more business with Europe. Do you think it's more easy for you, I know, to make business uh, in China from an European company? Hopefully, yes. <laughs> we are also interested to intensify this kind of business. Mm -hmm. um, even we, we stay as, uh, as Arburg with, with the brand made in Germany. So mm -hmm. our basic machine, we, we still have the intention to keep that in locally in Germany okay. with all of our production. But we have a very modular system with the machines, so the idea is now to get the modular machine here to China mm -hmm. and do, then do, do the final customization. And if we get supported by the government by a close relationship with Europe, it will be fine. Okay, okay. So thank you very much. It was uh, Gerhard Baum from Arburg. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Thank you. Have a bye good bye. Day.